hello students i hope you all are doing well so today in this video we are going to read a poem a house a home and this poem is written by lauren m halley so this poem is basically about the difference between a house and a home the poet is trying to tell us what is the difference between a house and a home so you can see there are two stanzas in this poem it's a very short poem and in the first stanza the poet has tried to tell us about a house and in the second stanza the poet is telling us about a home so what is the basic difference between a house and a home house is usually a building and when you start living in a house that becomes a home so this is the basic idea which has been depicted in this poem by the poet now we'll read the poem what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring so what the poet is trying to tell us in the first stanza he is telling us about a house so in the first line itself the poet asks a questions question what is a house and then he answers it's brick and stone that a house is made up of brick and stone and wood that's hard and it is made up of hard wood we have lot of furniture also in the house which is made of wood some window glass and then we have window and we have glass on windows and perhaps a yard perhaps means maybe and yard is basically a corridor or a kind of garden outside your house but that is the part of your house only it's eaves and chimneys so what do you mean by eaves and chimneys eaves you can see the picture here on the right side there is a picture of eaves now let me explain what is eaves the part of the roof that hangs out over the walls to provide shade as you can see in the picture that this is the picture of a house and there is some part of the roof that is hanging over the walls and it kinds of provide shade and what is chimneys chimneys you can see on the left side it is a picture of chimney so a chimney is a kind of pipe which takes up smoke up from a fire through the roof of the building so i hope students you have understood the meaning of eaves and chimney so they are also the part of the house and tile floors and the um, the floors which are made of tiles and stucco and roof and lots of doors and stucco means fine plaster when we make uh, the building of the house the plaster is used okay so that is the meaning of stucco and lots of doors and we have lots of doors in our house so this is the meaning of house now what is a home so from the first thing you can understand very clearly that a house is basically a building and nothing else we have doors windows and it is made of a brick stone wood we have chimneys and eaves yards okay so this is a house now come to what is a home so in the second stanza the poet again asks a question what is a home and then he answers it's loving and family and doing for others so 
द लविंग मेम्बर्स ऑफ द फैमिली दे कन्वर्ट अ हाउस इन टू अ होम वेन देर इज लव एमंग द फैमिली मेम्बर्स एंड दे स्टार्ट लिविंग इन द हाउस दे हेल्प ईच अदर एंड दे थिंक अबाउट ईच अदर दे केयर अबाउट ईच अदर दैट थिंग मेक्स अ हाउस अ होम इट्स ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स एंड फादर्स एंड मदर्स एंड यू लिव वैन यू स्टार्ट लिविंग इन अ हाउस विद योर ब्रदर्स and sisters with your siblings and with your parents like fathers and mothers that makes a house into a home it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing kindly means loving okay lovingly sharing and when you live with your family members you do for them for them you don't think about yourself okay and you just keep on helping them you just keep on motivating them you enjoy with them so these kind of things make a house a home and you share the things with your family members and showing your loved ones you are always caring and when you care for your family members and when you show your love to them it makes a house a home so basically in the first stanza the poet has told us about the material which are used to make a house and we know which materials are used like glass bo- wood brick stone stucco ru- and doors these are the materials which are used to make a house and what makes a house a home the family members the loving family when the loving family starts living in a house that makes that house into a home that converts that house into a home so this is the basic idea in this poem it's a very short poem and i hope students you have enjoyed this poem now what do you have to do you have to read this poem again and you have to comment in the comment section below that what you have understood what is the difference between a house and a home so bye bye take care keep studying keep working hard